with this building? Yeah, no. Buildings use 48% of our total energy in the United States. Transportation, 28%. But my car came with a miles per gallon sticker. Why not this building? Wait, here's a sign. Four stars. What does that mean? Energy star means it's better than the rest, but by how much? Compared to what? A baseline of 90, ASHRAE 90.1 2004, or maybe that was 89, or 90. 7, or 2007, or maybe it was ASHRAE with Appendix G, or was that Title 24, or CBECS, or, oh my goodness, whew, too many variables. I know, maybe there's a more consistent way to measure. We have it for cars, the miles per gallon equivalent. Let's look at this plug-in hybrid. 93 miles per gallon equivalent. It's the MPG it gets in gas plus electric power converted to the energy value of gas. 93 MPG equivalent. But buildings get their power in lots of different ways. How are we going to compare? How about EUI? EUI, Energy Use Intensity. It's a universal measurement of building energy that helps us compare building energy use. EUI measures in KBTU per square foot per year. It's a common unit we can use to compare building energy use regardless of the energy source. Gas, electricity, chilled water, steam, it all gets converted to KBTU. KBTU per square foot. Here's one square foot. Every square foot using X KBTU per square foot per year. Some types of buildings use more energy than others. Whoa, that much energy for every square foot? No wonder our buildings produce 45% of our emissions. What are we going to do? We can make a plan to reduce EUI. Today, we can aim to design 60% better than average, 70% better by 2015, and 90% better by 2025. And if we keep at it, we can reduce building emissions to zero by 2030. How do we do it? We set an EUI goal. We achieve it. If you are a designer, Educate yourself. Educate your team. Talk to your city council. Write your legislators. Ask them to join the 2030 challenge. See you in 2030.